Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it has been a little while since my last video. I started my new job as well as been studying for the NCLEX and so I've just been a little bit busy but here we are. It is the day before I take the NCLEX which I just can't believe that I'm saying that. Um, I feel like this day has came by so fast and so yeah, today I have just been studying a little bit. I've just been like reviewing my old notes that I have. And so I'm not like learning anything new. Um, and so, yeah, I know a lot of people say, hey, don't study the day before. And here I am studying. But yeah, hopefully I've always been that way. Even in nursing school, I've always like studied up to like literally the time of my test and so it got me through nursing school so hopefully it'll be fine but yeah so i very nervous it hit me last night is when my anxiety just came really fast and i mean it's expected i it's a huge test and i'm very nervous about it but yeah part of me is like wanting to get done with it and take it um, and just get it done with, but another part of me is like, well, I don't know if I'm ready to take this test or not. So, yeah, so I plan to video tomorrow when I'm on my way um, to go take the test and share with you guys like how I'm feeling and what my thoughts are. And yeah, if you guys are interested in how my NCLEX journey goes, then just keep watching. <laughs> Just watching some Selling Sunset this morning, trying not to really study or think about it too much. Just trying to relax and enjoy the time that I have before. And I'm gonna leave here probably in a little bit. I'm gonna leave early to go get some Jimmy John's um, in Wichita and eat before and to make sure that I'm there early just so it doesn't stress me out. And so yeah. Just relaxing with Duke over here. Hey guys, so it is the day of my NCLEX and I am super, super nervous. It is around, it's 12 o'clock. I take it at one, but you have to be there 30 minutes early. so. I'm just here a little bit extra early, um, but yeah, my nerves hit a lot this morning. I have been very nervous, stomach hurts, everything. Um, I took a hot shower this morning. I walked my dog. I tried to stay away from studying and just kind of like relax as much as I could. Um, and then I went and got Jimmy John's for lunch. And then I've been sitting here. I looked over like my lab values as well as a couple other things that I just always forget so I just wanted to refresh my memory um, and then yeah so I'm gonna be going in here in a little bit I can't believe this day has come I'm just kind of like ready to get it done with I feel like I'm just at that point I my brain can't handle any more information and so uh, hopefully that means I'll do okay <laughs> on this test but I guess we will see um, I'm gonna say my prayers and then I'm gonna go in I will let you guys know um, when I'm done and what I thought about it. Hi, so I just got done taking the NCLEX and oh my goodness, that was so nerve wracking. So I took 75 questions. So I either did really good or really bad. And I feel like I didn't know a good chunk of that. So that makes me very, very nervous. And I feel like I got a lot of select all that apply and I've heard that's good, but I don't really know. I feel like, I don't know if it's like trying to give me a chance to pass. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, I feel like a lot of information that I studied wasn't on there. So like lab values weren't on there. I got a lot about like precautions and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't get any math or anything like that. So that was kind of nice because I don't know. I don't know that stuff very well, but um, yeah. So. I don't think I'm going to do the Pearson view trick. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. But I don't think I will. I think I'll wait the 48 hours to get like my unofficial results. Um, but we'll see. I don't know if that will change or not. But yeah, it feels good to honestly be done. I think that's why I'm so happy right now. <laughs> um, the stomach has gone away and my fiance is going to take me out um, to go out to eat tonight and have a little day just to celebrate honestly being done with it for now at least um, and hopefully done with it in general. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy so far and I'm excited to see my results. Okay guys, I am going to check the Pearson view um, to see if I can pay to see my results. I've been checking, I think like every 20 minutes today. Um, and I, it hasn't, it says that my results are still not available. So I'm just going to check again for the hundredth time it feels like. Okay, so it still says my exam results are not available at this time, which I expected. They said 48 business hours and it hasn't even been 24. <laughs> so I've just been thinking about it all the time. So I just am checking um, and they don't have it yet. So I am going to now check the um, Kansas State Board of Nursing and see what I can find there. Okay, so now I'm just logging into Kansas State Board of Nursing um, because I saw in a YouTube video that they have it within 24 hours sometimes. And I've been checking this all day as well. But we're gonna try this again. Okay, here we go. Encountered an air. Okay, lovely. Let's try. Guys, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It has my license number on here. It has my license number on here. Oh my god, issue today, expiration, two years. My license number is on here. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I passed. I passed. I passed. I passed. And I don't have to worry about taking this again. I can't believe it. Why does this make me second guess it though? I don't know why. I'm, I'm worried this isn't it though. Does that mean that I passed? It has my license number. I don't know. I don't know if that means I passed. Guys, I think I passed. I think I passed. I see my license number. Print license. This is... It has, I see it right here. Guys, I freaking passed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I passed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <sighs> okay, guys. Now that I've had time to sit down and compose myself. So, I think I passed. And I think that's very clear to me that I have my license number and that I passed. But I am still going to wait for the Pearson View um, quick results and I'm still going to do them um, just to like double check myself because I'm nervous that I don't know I'm just nervous that those aren't the real things so I'm going to do that just in case and also it just would uh, make me feel better to tell my boss um, that I actually passed like I I don't know I just feel like I need that validation so when those show up I will take a video of that just to double check and yeah and then officially a freaking nurse an RN I can't believe it I am so excited that I am done with 
studying for the NCLEX and now I can just focus on my new job and it feels so great. Honestly, I feel so much less stress and now I don't have to sit here looking at that a hundred times a day because that's all I can think about all today. I've been trying to not think about it, but it's just not possible. So super excited and at the end of this i'm going to sit down and i'm going to talk about um more about like the inclex and my maybe like my preparation for it and everything like that and so yeah so stay tuned for that um we have to go pick up his niece right now so i can't do that right now but later tonight i will video that Okay guys, so I just wanted to hop on here um, just because I was so stressed out in the previous um, clips and so I wanted to come on here and just talk about um, like the preparation that I did along with kind of like what to expect um, going in and taking the NCLEX. So when you schedule the NCLEX, they give you a link that you're able to see like extra information about, you know, how early you need to get there um, and what just kind of like things that you have to do um, before going in and taking the exam. Um, so I'll just talk about my experience a little bit. So you have to be there at least like 30 minutes prior to taking the exam. So for example, my exam was at one o'clock. And so I got there because I just, this is just who I am. But I ended up going in around like 12, 15. And um, I honestly started taking the exam probably before 12.30 even. Um, they were able to get me in right away, which was really nice. And there was already people taking the exam before I even got there. Um, but when I got there, um, you, they, you, know, you, you tell them what test you're taking and then you are going to, they're gonna provide you like a packet um that you have to um, read over and it just has the rules and things to expect and then you're going to scan your hand and they do that multiple times and then you will take a picture and you'll just have to take off your mask and they'll look inside of your mask um as well as you'll take off your hats or anything for the picture and then next they will um, get your belongings together. So I had my phone and my coat. And so what they do with any electronic devices is they put it into like a bag and that it becomes sealed. And then you put all of your belongings into a locker and then they give you a key um, so that you can lock it up while you are taking the exam. Um, and yeah, and so then after that, I sat down and waited for my name to be called. And once they did that, they took me back um, towards the exam room. And then what they did is they scanned the hand again. And then they, well, at least for me, they made me pat myself down just to make sure they made sure I moved my hair, um, just to double check that I wasn't like hiding anything. Um, and then, yeah, and you make sure that you have your ID um, that is something that you will need. Um, so yeah, that was the only thing that I needed to take in for identification. Um, I know that they used to, um, I think do more, but they, um, didn't require that for me. Um, so then anyways, yeah. So then they, um, took me into the exam room where I was able to do that. Um, they have headphones available in case you need that, um, for a question as well as you can always request to get some earbuds. Um, and so, yeah, so those were just kind of like the main things of just like kind of things to know, I guess, before you go take the exam, because I know that stressed me out because I just didn't even know really what to expect. Um, but yeah, so next I was going to go into kind of some of the things that I studied um, and what I thought became beneficial, some questions that I saw in there of like, I thought some of this stuff helped me answer those questions and become confident for that. So the first thing that I did was I um, listened to YouTube videos and I printed off the PDF for Mark Clemec reviews. And as I'm sure you are already have heard of this um, because that's how I know of it is that a lot of people have used it, but what I did is I printed it off and you can honestly just type in Google 
Mark Clement review PDF and you will honestly find it really easy. Um, and then I printed it off and put it into this binder here and just hole punched it. And yeah, so I put that in there and I go onto YouTube and you just type in Mark Clement review again. And there's so many videos of him lecturing and honestly they were anywhere from like one or sorry an hour to like two hour longs um just depends for each lecture and there is 13 lectures i believe 12 somewhere like that and so anyways it does take a little bit time consuming if you want to watch the lectures um i thought that actually helped a lot more than just looking at the pdf um, for at least the first time, just because he actually says a lot more within his lectures online um, compared to just the paper that I have at least. So I would just write down extra information onto the side of the paper um, just so that I can refer back to it later. And I specifically used the yellow book. Um, he does also have a blue book, but honestly, it was kind of confusing to me. Um, I did print it off but I honestly just didn't use it just because it stressed me out more than anything. Cause maybe if I would have purchased the blue book, maybe it would have looked a little bit better, but I only found like a Quizlet version of it and it just, it just confused me a little too much. So yeah, that was the first thing that I used and I thought really helped me for a baseline information. Um, and yeah, and so then next, so my school used um, cat or bought Kaplan for us as nursing students, which I'm very grateful for. Um, they also um, bought Hearst as well for us. We were very, very lucky. Um, but what I thought was beneficial was using um, Kaplan QBank. So a lot of people recommended to me that taking questions was one of the best ways that you could study for NCLEX. And I like 100% agree um, because Mark Lamech was great um, with, like I said, baseline information stuff that you should already know pretty much and just tips and tricks of learning it and remembering it and using it. Um, but to answer questions, you have to know specific things, whether that's a med, whether that's a disease, whether that's a procedure or whatever it is. So one way I was able to learn that really well like I said, was using the Kaplan QBank. So I took around, I had about a month of studying um, before I took the NCLEX. And I took around probably eight to 900 questions um, total. And then I would write down all of the rationales for that. So this notebook is almost used up because I wrote so much back front to back but um what I did is I wrote down every not every okay but a lot of rationales if I did not know it I wrote it down now you do what's best for you um when it comes to how you like to study or how you best learn but my way is writing down things and so um just for example like I did charts and I did like ascending transverse and descending for colostomies colostomies so, um, yeah, and so this just helped me learn, um, you know, just those detailed information that honestly I didn't know or didn't learn. And so, yeah, so it, honestly, I kept it all into one notebook, which helped me stay a little bit more organized. And what I did between these two, because these were the two main things I did was Mark Clement and this. And what I did was I fin after I finished the whole Mark Clement, I watched about one lecture a day because I had my tonsillectomy. So I wasn't feeling very good. So I'd only do it in little bits for the first like week or two. And But once I finished that, I started taking questions. And I would take about anywhere from 50 to 75 a day, um, which doesn't seem like a lot, honestly, a day. But when you write down all the rationales, it is really time consuming. Um, and honestly, it does overload your brain a little bit, um, but it was how I best learn. And so I would take the 50 questions or 75 questions, I'd write the rationales. Then I would take a break because usually my fiance would come home 
and then I would later that evening I would either pull out my Mark Clement and I would read it or review it again or I'd pull this out and review what I wrote earlier so that was my way of repetition of trying to memorize everything that I wrote so yeah so those were the two main things that I did to study for the NCLEX now I will show you what are some other things that I did that either helped me or kind of helped me. Okay, so like I had said earlier, my school did pay for the Hearst review. Um, and so I was able to take that and I did take that last summer. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's, you have videos online and then you kind of just fill in the blanks here. And so, you know, I finished it and I did like it when I was taking it. Um, they did break it down pretty easily, but I'll be honest, I don't feel like it helped me um, a whole lot. I mean, it, do, it did a little bit, but there was just a lot of information and sometimes I just thought it wasn't the easiest way, at least for me, to understand something. So that was just something that I ran into. Um, however, I just wanted to add in, I did complete it. Um, so, you know, I've heard multiple things about it. Some people either love it or they don't like it. Um, I just happened to be somebody who just didn't really get a lot out of it, I feel like. Um, and I thought the third test were super hard I don't know if that's just me um but they were just really hard for me and honestly just like I felt defeated every time that I took a quiz on here and so yeah but I just wanted to add it in I did end up taking this and I did fill it out um so if that's something in, you're interested in I have heard mixed reviews on it um so if you want to check it out try it it does cost I'm not quite for sure how much I know it's on the pricier side but that is always an option. Next. So meds were always hard for me um, in nursing school as well as studying for the NCLEX. But something that did help me, I think, get through pharmacology as well as taking the NCLEX. Um, so Level Up RN, I bought a lot of their cards um, for nursing school to take the ATI test and I 100% recommend them. I literally I just feel like this is what got me through nursing school with those ATIs they are amazing so I got these with she made new sets now but these I have all of her old sets and I don't know I can't really compare her new sets to these I'm not quite sure um but I absolutely love them um so she goes off in sections so like this is like this is the nervous system and it has this color and then like cardiovascular is red um and then there's like respiratory gastrointestinal reproductive you know joint pain endocrine pain and inflammation chemotherapy as well as antimicrobial so I studied these um, as much as I could. Um, so I had these memorized in for when I was taking pharmacology and I don't have them memorized whatsoever. But it was a great refresher that I was able to like click like, oh, this med is a gastrointestinal med or whatever. And it gives like great, um, it gives you indications, mode of action, side effects and key points. So like, for example, this is like a viral medication um, and it just, it goes through each one so well and provides such great like key points to remember. And it's a big stack, I will say that. Um, and so, like I said, I didn't sit here and try to memorize them again, but they were just a great way for me to look over them and just to kind of remember you know, some key points about each one. Um, and then along with that, um, so Level Up RN um, puts videos out on YouTube and I also, they go along with the cards. So now they're gonna be the new cards that they made, but they still have some old videos up. 
if you look, um, they have like playlists and they're making more. Even right now, they're going through like an NCLEX series, I believe. Um, and I went through a lot of those and I wrote that within my notebook um, just so that I can help memorize them again. But, you know, um, let me look. I'm trying to think. I went through certain things that I thought that were going to be on the NCLEX. Um, so I definitely went over her delegation and prioritization videos um, because honestly, I feel like that's a huge chunk of your NCLEX. Um, so I think that would be important to look at. Um, some things I looked at video wise was Rye syndrome, lead poisoning, cystic fibrosis, um, like dialysis, um, the different types of anemia. Um, something that I highly recommend looking at is your like um, your sodium and your potassium and your magnesium, those things and like what causes hypermagnesia or whatever. Um, I think that's really important because I did find that on the NCLEX quite a bit. Um, meningitis and like lumbar puncture was a huge thing as well. I feel like that's something to really look over. Um, I also looked at videos for like cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, that's something. Um, and then another big thing was Addison's and Cushing syndrome. Um, those were a, a couple other things that I really recommend you taking a double um, look at. Again, all tests are going to be so different, um, but just trying to give you tips and tricks of kind of things to look at. Okay, and so then the last thing that I did and recommend was um, making flashcards or a Quizlet, however you best learn about lab values. So I didn't, I don't remember having any lab values, at least on mine, but I know a lot of my friends did. And so I really recommend, you know, just making flashcards or making a Quizlet just to run through them. I ran through them probably once or twice a day, just because I just want to, it was just repetition. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to remember these. Um, and so I got mine just from registered nurse RN. Um, I know everybody's is so different, but you have to remember on the NCLEX that it's going to be so far off. So like, it's not going to be like point, like if it's, you know, calcium, like I learned nine to 10.5. Oh, it's not going to be 10.6. So it's going to be like 12 or it's going to be, you know, farther off to where you're going to be able to see if it's, you know, not the correct, um, or it's going to be an abnormal value. So just keep that in mind. But that was just something also I wanted to add in here just to remember, um, to look at, um, before you take the in class. And I just wanted to add in there, um, one last thing that helped me was following Instagram accounts that post about nursing related things, um, or tips and tricks or, you know, anything NCLEX related. Um, it was really nice if I had an opportunity that I couldn't look at my notes or pull out, you know, a notebook or whatever. I could pull out my phone and I could study things um, on my phone through social media. And some people just post great things like great tips and tricks that I wish I would have known for nursing school. Um, but one of those accounts is, um, her name is Stephanie Beggs. I don't know how to say her last name. Um, but I will have it up here to show you um, what her Instagram account name is, but I highly recommend um, looking at her stuff, um, especially with her like meds and her pediatric. Um, she has like milestones that she went through that were spot on. Immunization, she had great tips and tricks on how to remember um, for the first year of immunizations, um, as well as she does videos for like, um, ambulation like crutches things like that it was just amazing and she still continues to post really good things and i'll continue to follow her because i thought it was really cool i didn't i don't even know how i found her account but i highly recommend that so that is just another thing to think about okay so i hope this helped you guys sometimes it's nice to see how other people study or to see you know different new things um, maybe you're studying the same thing and you need to change it up Whatever the reason is, you know, I hope this gave you guys some ideas. Um, I just think a couple tips to give to you guys. I think that's important 
is to give yourself breaks when you're studying. Because sometimes I caught myself wanting to study literally like every hour of the day just because I felt like ah, I'm not learning enough, but that's not true, okay? So just make sure that you go at your own speed and that you take breaks because your brain is going to be fried if you don't, okay? And another thing is when you're taking the test to don't second guess yourself because I've learned that if you do that, most likely you're going to be going with the wrong answer in the end. And so that is something that I think is just important to tell yourself, you know, you pick the first answer first for a reason, unless you legitimately come up with a reason of why that is not correct. So those are just a couple of things I wanted to go over. I know you guys are gonna kill it on the NCLEX and you're going to do great. So good luck. And I'm always here if you guys need anything or need to talk.